Hey guys, this is a quick manual for your phone. So we're gonna be setting it up. Now for the manual of how to use your phone, that's another video, but right now we're just gonna do the setup and we're gonna go slightly throughout which buttons for what, obviously I'm teaching you that right now. So if you take a look at your phone, you're gonna see these buttons on the side. So we're gonna take a look at this, this for silence. These are your volume keys, so up and down your volume. This right here is for our SIM card. I'm gonna show you how to insert that right away. On your other side, we have our power and this is for your camera. Down here below, it's where you're gonna charge it up. So you're gonna plug in your cable right there. And before you set up your phone, should you charge it? Don't have to, you shouldn't have to. If it came with zero battery, I would return it, exchange it for another one. They should always come with some battery. And that said, all the iPhones I've bought, which I have every single one, they've all come with more than 70% of their battery. So the first thing you should do, even before you turn it on for the first time, is put the SIM card. You could put the SIM card later on, and this is the SIM card. So it doesn't have to be this brand, by the way. This is just a company, random company. So sometimes you guys get these things, just take them out, take them fully out, and then you guys will see the smallest one is your nano SIM card. That's the one that you use for your phone, okay? So the smallest one. Let me just zoom in so you guys can see better. So see the smallest one that says nano? That's what you guys want, the nano SIM card. So we're gonna take that one out, just push it through, and most of you will have something like that. Some of you might just get the SIM card like so. This is not something that comes with your phone. You have to purchase it from a carrier or just transfer it from your old phone to your new one. It's most likely already has a micro SIM card, most likely. When I said micro SIM card, I meant nano SIM card, nano SIM card. So this is the smallest one, nano SIM card. From there on your phone on the side, you will see this, that's the SIM card tray. With this tool right here, we can open it up. So this right here is the SIM card tray tool. It came with your phone. If you lost it for any reason, just use an earring. That's good enough. And you're gonna have to press in here. So just push that in there. And then you're gonna see that this pops up by itself. Then just with your nails, go ahead and take out that SIM card tray. That's how it looks like. Now, how do you put your SIM card in here? Well, what you guys wanna do is turn it around, first of all. Once you turn it around, Place your SIM card like so. And yeah, if you place it the wrong way, it's just not gonna work. So that's how it looks like. From there, just insert it in here. So it's gonna go right in there, push it, make sure it's nice and sealed. And there you go, you just installed your SIM card. Now, this would be the same thing if you guys even had an iPhone 16 Pro, Pro Max, or 16 Plus, even older generations, they all have the same thing. And it's actually the exact same way that we install and even take it out. So to take out your SIM card, you would do the exact same thing. You would just put that in there, that would pop out your SIM card, and there we go. All right, so to power on your iPhone for the very first time, you're gonna see this power button right here. And just go on and hold on to it. So we're just gonna hold on to this power button until it turns on. And it's the same thing, whether it's the very first time that you're turning this on, you should see an Apple logo, and then it's just gonna load in. All right, so right now that your iPhone turned on, just swipe up from down here below, swipe up, select your language. So whichever language you guys have, or you guys want, it's gonna be right here. So all of these languages are available at the moment. We are gonna go just with English, and then your region. Scroll down, you guys are gonna see a whole list of regions. I would say you can change this up later on. And yeah, you can change up anything we do at the main setup at any point in time later on. However, it might get complicated to look for some stuff sometimes just because it's in a different language or anything like that if you guys selected the wrong stuff. Uh, but here are all the regions that you guys get. So countries, regions will be right here. I know I'm going really fast throughout the list. So hopefully you guys can find yours, but it's a huge list. And those are all the regions available at the moment where you guys can set this up. So once you find yours, go ahead and tap on it. That's exactly what we're gonna do right now. We're just gonna swipe all the way up because usually all the way up it detects where you're at. So we're gonna go on, tap there, and then appearance. So when it comes down to appearance, there's a few ways to so just mess around with this and see what's best for you. So you guys can go with this or this it depends what type of text you guys like. For me, the smallest is better default, but for sure, if you wear glasses, maybe you don't even wear glasses, but you're just more comfortable with everything popping up more, then go ahead and choose large. 
I think that's something really good that they made, especially for older people. But anyways, let's just go into continue on. Quick start, this is awesome. Because if you guys had an iPhone before, now you guys can use this. Just place your older iPhone beside it, and then you're gonna see, well, make sure your Bluetooth's on, first of all. And then right away, you're gonna see a pop-up on your phone. And this will just make things a little bit faster, which by the way, from there, you guys can transfer stuff over. Now, if you don't have, you know, an iPad, iPhone, don't worry about it. Go ahead and set up without another device. And then from here, just choose your Wi-Fi network. So we're gonna choose this one right here. Put in your password. Once you put in your password, it's supposed to just think about it. And then once it connects up, you guys can continue on. Can you use a hotspot for this? Yeah, because it's gonna detect it as a Wi-Fi network. So hotspot is perfectly fine. Again, hotspots are from another phone, right? Or something else that you guys have. But anyways, right now it should say it's taking a few minutes to activate your phone. Also depends how slow your internet is when this setup is going, but generally speaking, it should go fairly fast. Now this is why it might go a little bit slower because you do have to update it. So we're gonna go on and update now. Do not skip that step, just update it. Agree on the bottom right hand side and then just let it download, don't turn it off. At this point in time, I usually do tell you to plug in your phone and have it charging. However, you should have enough battery. Your battery levels up here, you should be fine. Just let it do its thing and come back to it later on. Once the update's done, it's just gonna be a black screen, so just tap here again. Then scroll up, go through this one more time. But this time, it's not gonna ask you for your Wi-Fi. It might, but for most cases, it won't because it just did the update. And then you're just going to continue. From here, you can set it up yourself or set it up for your kids or family member. So that is an option. We're gonna assume this is for you, so for yourself. Face ID, you can always skip this. So if you're setting this up, maybe you're gonna sell it, you don't wanna import any personal information, go ahead and tap on set up later. However, if this phone is for you, then go ahead and set up face ID. So to set up face ID, it's really easy. All we have to do is just tap on continue on, and then just move your face kinda like this, just around in circles, if that makes sense. So I wanna show you what that means right now. So get started. And there we go, that's all I had to do. So we can scan this again to use Face ID with a mask or not. So I wanna choose not, because I, I don't see that necessary at the moment, but you guys can definitely do that. And then just going to continue, create a passcode. Now keep in mind, you do have other options, so you can go into passcode options and go ahead and choose any of these. So there are other options. At this point, I'm gonna choose cancel. I'm just gonna put some random thing, but make sure something secure to you guys. So it's gonna ask you to re-enter that passcode and then you guys can continue on with the whole setup. So right here, we can transfer stuff. So if you had another iPhone, maybe iPad as well, you could go ahead and download things here. So you guys could have a backup on your iCloud, which by the way, to transfer stuff over using iCloud, it is actually free. So you don't need to purchase iCloud space just for that. So just make sure to do that um, if you have one. If you don't, you can go ahead and just don't transfer anything. If you guys had an Android before, I would still choose not to transfer anything. Because Android is, it just doesn't work that well. So just going to don't transfer anything, you're brand new to this. From here, if you don't have an Apple ID, at this point in case, you guys will have to create one. So you see this down here below, other sign in options, you've got this, use another device to sign in. So if you, that assumes you have an iPhone or something like that, use multiple accounts. We're not gonna do that, but you do have those options. Now if you don't have an account, you can tap down here below. You guys can put forgot password if that's your problem. You guys can create an account right now, okay? And if you guys don't want to import any personal information, you can set up later in settings. So that's also an option right there. So you don't need to actually sign in with your app ID to set this up if you don't want to import any personal information. However, we're gonna assume you guys are brand new. So create an Apple account. So tap there. From here, it's just gonna ask you first name, last name, date of birth, continue on. Then it's gonna ask you for, go ahead and put in your email account. So you do need an email account and then you will be done. So whether you guys put in Apple ID or you didn't, you didn't set that up, you guys can go on and put in 
update your iPhone automatically. So go ahead and choose whichever makes sense to you. You guys can download automatically or just continue on. So I would just choose continue on. Then from here, iMessage and FaceTime. For sure, set that up. So continue. Then from here, location. You do need your location, even if you don't want to import personal information. It's good so you guys can test out the maps and all that stuff. So I'm going to turn on location services. Screen time. This is good if you have kids. So you guys can control them with screen time. Plus, you guys can set up restrictions here. However, if you're an adult, most likely you don't really care how much time you spend on your screen. Unless you do, then go ahead and set it up. Most of you won't care. So set up later in settings. Then right here, analytics. Do you want to share that with Apple? Yes or no? I'm going to go ahead and share. I'm also going to share with Apple developers. Well, app developers. And that's because it's just to make things better. So right now, we can choose light or dark display. What does this mean? Well, dark makes it look like so. And automatic will make it look like this during the day. And then dark, which is this one, during the nighttime. So it's easier on your eyes. I usually like dark. However, for this video, light mode will be better, just so you guys can see better, just for the video. Silent mode. So this is important for you guys to see because you guys can always put silent mode. It's something that people forget around a lot. So we're just gonna continue on. And then we're gonna be almost done. So you guys can customize your action button. Your action button would be up here. So this would be to toggle silent mode on and off. However, you can also customize this. You guys can customize it later on as well. What I suggest doing is just set it up later. You might find that you don't want this to be just silent mode. Maybe you don't put your phone on silent that much. So you want to customize this to be something else. But I think that's something that you have to figure out on your own to see whether that's worth it or not. And it's gonna be definitely worth it for those of you who don't use silent mode on and off all the time. But some people put it always on silent once they get to work, once they're out of work, they turn it off again. Some people always have it on silent mode so they can customize that to be something else, that it does something else. I'm gonna choose not now. Then from here, camera control. So we're just gonna continue on with that. I'm just gonna show you here because that's something that's new. So it's important that they're giving you a quick tutorial to it. Again, camera controls here. Continue on. Siri. Siri, again, don't wanna import anything personal. Set up later in settings. However, I'm gonna teach you how to set up Siri right now. All right, so we're just gonna choose to set it up. And then from here, just choose whichever voice you like the best. Uh, I find that the most normal one, the one I'm used to is number four. The colors of the sky fade with the setting sun. And then the I'm gonna go into right now. Siri, how's the weather? Hey Siri, send a message. Siri, set a timer for three minutes. Hey Siri, get directions home. Siri, play some music. So what I basically did there was just read what it said, and now it recognizes my voice. Will it recognize other people's voice? It actually does, but it'll respond more to your own voice. Continue on. Um, you can share your recordings. A lot of people don't like this. Choose not now. I don't care. I wanted this to be improved, so I'm gonna share. And right now, emergency. So we're just gonna continue that on. Um, you're pretty much done at this point. Just scroll up. There you go. There's your iPhone ready to go. So which apps come in your phone already? Pre-installed, brand new, without you guys downloading anything, transferring anything on your iPhone 16, which is exactly the same apps as your other iPhones. If you guys have other iPhones, such as 16 Pro, 16 Plus, 16 Pro Max, these are all the apps. So if you scroll through, you're gonna see these guys. So you guys can see them all organized in here, but there aren't any more apps. If you guys want to download more apps, let me just show you what's in here in utilities. There's some there. Plus, that's it. These are widgets, by the way, which you guys can customize them later on. But like I said, if you guys want to download more, just go into your app store and do it from there. Uh, watch the manual for your iPhone so you guys can see how to handle this. Because this is, of course, just a setup video for you guys want to know how to use your iPhone. I do have a separate video that shows you the manual of how to use your phone. But right now, what you guys should do is go into your settings and make any updates that are missing. So right here, you're gonna see finish up setting up your phone. Maybe some of you may see that, some others not. Go into general and just check for software updates. 
just make sure you're all up to date but anyways as far as this video goes we're all done if you guys have any comments questions you guys can write down here in the comments area don't forget to subscribe and like thank you